Hey everybody, thanks for dropping in. I wanted to provide a quick update to the upgrades I've done on my CRT S5 so far. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I purchase and support TH3D. They provide good products for 3D printers. They test them, they use them themselves, they don't sell junk. Uh, so far, I have installed a 500 by 500 silicone bed heater with external controller. I'm very happy with that. I have a TH3D Easy Board Lite 32 bit board drop in for most Creality printers and a lot of other printers that it does work with. I have the Easy ABL, the TH3D version of the Titan extruder, and the 500 by 500. Flex sheet PEI smooth with magnetic base from TH3D. It's printing great. I'm printing a pickle rick for a friend of mine who loves pickle rick, so I decided that'd be a pretty good test print on it. I've done three or four prints on it now. Everything's went smooth. The only upgrades that I have left that I will want to do to this printer at this point is the frame supports. I have those on the way. Once they get here, I'll get those put on to prevent the wobble. Um, and eventually, it will get an all-metal hot end, probably an E3DV6. I favor those. They work well. Um, I have no complaints about the printer. It is a very large printer. you got to make sure you have space on it. I actually had to, because of the spacing that I have this one in, turn the spool holder the opposite direction. In order to have the room I needed to be able to access everything as you can see in the video it's it's there um, let me see if I can turn that off there you go you can see how it's sitting not a lot of room so it's a great printer I'm very happy with it I think for that size of a printer at 500 by 500 by 500 it's the best bang for the buck uh, the beds pretty darn close to level the silicone heater was easy to install I have no problems with that uh, if you install an external controller you the, I would recommend that you go into Marlin and disable the heater I use the TH3D branch of Marlin 2.0 it has an option in the configuration to just to do that uh, made it real easy then you go into your slicer remove the heater you have no errors no problem uh, everything works great said I recommend it I'm loving the printer so far looking forward to many many big prints in the future with it I'll be printing this is PLA Pro plus by rep wrapper um, first time I've tried their filament so far it's printing really well this is I've done about three quarters of a roll of it so far no problems with it print smooth the rolls nicely rolled um, I'll be printing PLA plus and PETG with this printer primarily so uh, everything's working great I recommend it thanks for stopping by like and subscribe have a wonderful day bye